Chapter 1. The Deceptive Path to the Wizard Tom was a joyful wanderer, exploring new lands and embarking on countless adventures. Yet, a cloud of unease hovered over him, fueled by the whispered judgments of those he encountered on his journeys. He's too fat, they'd say, their eyes narrowing as they glanced over his rounded physique. Driven by this growing concern about his weight and the hope of fitting into the societal mold, Tom heard legends of a mysterious wizard who could grant wishes and change lives. One bright dawn, before setting out to find this enigmatic wizard, Tom took a detour to the mystical marketplace of Arconaville. There, he discovered an enchanted scale, said to be accurate beyond mortal comprehension. With a heart pounding in anticipation, Tom stepped onto the scale, reading the shimmering numbers that appeared. The number was higher than he had hoped, making his heart sink. What Tom didn't understand was that this magical scale, like its mundane counterparts, only revealed part of the story. Though precise, the scale offered no differentiation between muscle and fat, bone density, or even magical aura. It couldn't measure the strength he'd gained from fighting off enchanted beasts or the resilience built from his travels through perilous lands. In the magical world, just like in the mortal realm, conventional scales can be profoundly misleading. While it's true that more advanced magical scales could provide approximations of muscle mass and fat percentage, even they can't replace the comprehensive assessments offered by healthcare providers, or in Tom's case, wise wizards skilled in the art of bodily health. The scale had given Tom a number but not context, setting the stage for his journey to seek the wizard's counsel for a transformation he believed he needed. Little did he know, the path to true understanding of his health was far more complex than a simple numerical value. Chapter 2. The Enigma of the Wizard's BMI Scroll Fueled by the number he saw on the enchanted scale, Tom continued his journey through mystical forests and across haunted rivers, always aiming for the wizard's lair. Along the way, he happened upon an ancient library managed by the sage Oldenwise. Inside, Tom discovered a magical scroll named the BMI Codex. The Codex was a revered tome, laying out the mystical formula for body mass index or BMI, a numerical value derived from one's weight and height. With trembling hands, Tom performed the incantations and calculations, finally conjuring his own BMI. The resulting number plummeted him into the overweight category. At first, Tom viewed this discovery as a sign that he was destined to see the wizard and become skinny. But as he sat in the library, illuminated by the soft glow of the ever-burning enchanted candle, he found more scrolls criticizing the BMI Codex. Tom realized that even in the magical realm, BMI was not the definitive measure of health or destiny. BMI, he learned, was as flawed as it was revered. It disregarded factors like muscle mass, bone density, distribution of fat, and one's mana levels, a significant aspect in a realm where magical strength was crucial. It was a relic from an era when body composition wasn't fully understood, even by wizards and scholars. The sagely librarian Oldenwise saw Tom's struggle and whispered, Young traveler, while the BMI Codex may guide you, it should not define you. True wisdom, and even true health, comes from understanding the complexity of your own being. If you wish to visit the wizard, go, but know that his counsel is but one piece of your larger quest for well-being. Buoyed but still confused, Tom felt both vindicated and challenged. The BMI was a signpost, not a final judgment. It was a single tool in a far more complex toolbox for assessing health. Tom thanked Oldenwise and set forth, more determined than ever to reach the wizard, but now also filled with a nuanced understanding of what true health meant. Chapter 3. The Oracle's Comprehensive Insight After navigating treacherous terrain and solving riddles posed by sentient trees, Tom finally arrived at the mystical cave of the wizard. A place pulsing with magical energies, where even the air seemed to vibrate with untold power. Tom was ushered in, not just by the wizard, but by a retinue of magical beings, sprites for diagnostics, nymphs specializing in aura cleansing, and even an oracle trained in mystical health assessments. The wizard greeted Tom and initiated a ritual involving an advanced form of magical scrying known as a DEXA scan. The scan revealed layers of Tom's corporeal and ethereal selves, mapping not just his fat distribution but also his muscle mass, bone density, and even magical aura levels. The oracle then conducted a series of blood tests using alchemical concoctions that changed colors to indicate various health metrics. 
When the comprehensive assessments were complete, the wizard presented Tom with a holographic tableau of his true health status. Ah, young traveler, while your BMI is elevated and did steal. It appears you should focus on your body fat percentage, not just the superficial numbers. Tom felt a wave of relief but also newfound purpose. Here was a nuanced view of health, going far beyond the simplistic number on a scale or the misleading label of a BMI category. It was a holistic understanding, considering factors both mundane and magical. Before you embark on any transformational spells or potions, remember this, advised the wizard. Your ultimate well-being isn't defined by any single number but by a multitude of factors. Sometimes, the realm's conventional wisdom doesn't capture this complexity. Thus enlightened, Tom took the wizard's counsel to heart. Now armed with comprehensive knowledge about his actual health status, he prepared to set Chapter 4. The Alchemy of Transformation Armed with a newfound understanding of his health and a satchel full of magical elixirs and scrolls, Tom set out to transform himself, not just for society or to fit a particular numerical label, but for his holistic well-being. He returned to his wandering life, but this time with purpose and a structured plan. He sought the hermits of the Mystic Mountains, renowned for their mastery of high-intensity magical interval training HIMIT. Under their strict but nurturing tutelage, Tom practiced the art of mana burst cardio and astral strength training. These exercises weren't just about burning calories, they were about refining one's mana and channeling it to build magical muscle. Simultaneously, Tom consulted the culinary wizards of the Verdant Vale to understand the alchemy of foods. They taught him to conjure up balanced meals, potions imbued with lean protein, enchanted vegetables, and fats sourced from magical creatures like the Omega-3 Phoenix. As moons passed, something incredible happened. Tom's BMI hardly shifted, remaining stubbornly in the same, overweight, range. But his body fat percentage, measured by the enchanted amulet of Adipose, revealed a dramatic decrease. More importantly, Tom felt invigorated, his magical auras glowing brighter than ever, and his once heavy step now sprightly and full of life. In magical scrolls and ancient tomes, transformations often happen with a single flick of a wand. But Tom had learned the real magic lay in consistency, wisdom, and a nuanced approach to well-being. His transformation was a testament to a broader philosophy, that health couldn't be encapsulated in a single number or achieved through quick fixes. So, what's the moral of Tom's enchanted journey? It's not the BMI or the number on a scale that defines your quest for health. It's your lifestyle choices, your commitment to learning, and the nuanced understanding of your body and magical being that bring you closer to your true self. As Tom wanders into his next adventure, he does so with a deeper understanding that being truly fit is a complex, multifaceted quest, one he is now better equipped to face. Thank you for watching. Please, like, subscribe and take care of yourself. The American Nutrition Channel.